In this devotional, I'm going to share with you three thoughts from Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verses 7 through 10, where we'll talk about what it means to eat, drink, and be merry. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verses 7 through 10 says, Go, eat your bread with joy, and drink your wine with a merry heart, for God has already approved what you do. Let your garments be always white. Let not oil be lacking on your head. Enjoy life with the wife whom you love all the days of your vain life that he has given you under the sun, because that is your portion in life and in your toil at which you toil under the sun. Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with your might, for there is no work or thought or knowledge or wisdom in Sheol to which you are going. We've all heard it said before, eat, drink, and marry, for tomorrow we die. And doesn't that advice seem kind of bleak? Isn't that an outlook on life that is less than optimistic? But what Solomon is doing here in Ecclesiastes is breaking down what really matters in life. He spends so much time talking about life and death and pointing out that no matter what you do in this life, your ultimate end is the same. You are ultimately going to the grave and there's no escaping that. A bit pessimistic, I think, but it's certainly true that on a long enough timeline, every single one of us is going to die if the Lord tarries. So what is his advice on what to do in life? He says, eat and drink and be merry. He says, enjoy your family. Enjoy your work. Enjoy these things that are just basic pleasures because those are the things that are most pure in life. Here are three thoughts from Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verses 7 through 10 on why we should eat, drink, and be merry. Thought number one, the Lord approves. Now, here's the deal. You have to recognize that Solomon is speaking from a perspective of faith. He's speaking from a perspective of somebody who has seen the wisdom of the Lord, who has learned the scriptures and understands God and his commands. So when he says, eat and drink and do so with a merry heart, he's saying that you should do these things and that this is approved by the Lord within the context of God's law. So it isn't as if Solomon is saying, just do whatever you want. He's certainly not saying that, but he is saying that these basic pleasures in life, the Lord approves of these things. He has made them pleasurable for you and you should enjoy them. Thought number two, cause for celebration. Verse eight talks about the oil on the head and wearing white garments. These are the things that you do when you're celebrating. These are the things that you're doing when you are rejoicing. And Solomon says, hey, you should be participating in celebration. You don't need to be one of these morose fellows walking around just absolutely miserable all the time. Doing so is far too pessimistic and is not enjoying the good things that are happening in life. So there's cause for celebration in the world. And when you are experiencing those causes for celebration, celebrate celebrate. Before he said there's a time for everything, right? He said that there's a time to mourn and there's a time for celebration. Don't be nervous about celebrating. Go ahead and enjoy those happy moments, those happy times, because there's plenty enough suffering to go along with it. Thought number three, our portion in life. It's our portion in life to work. This is something that Solomon comes back to again and again and again, all the way through the book of Ecclesiastes. We are made for working. This is our portion in life. This is a part of what God has designed for us to do. So take joy in your work. Enjoy a job well done. Take pride in the things that you're doing, because after all, what else are you going to do? What else is there besides working, working, with your family, working with your friends, working to make a better society. What else are you going to do with your time? Just sit there and consume YouTube videos all day? You know that that's ultimately vacuous. But instead, we ought to work. And when we work, we work mightily. When we work hard, we can go back and see 
what our effort has produced and take joy also in that. When Solomon says, eat, drink, and be merry, he's not giving you license to lead a lifestyle like the prodigal son, but instead he's saying, enjoy the good things in life as they arise, because the days are evil and time here is short. These three thoughts come from the assigned reading of Ecclesiastes chapters 9 and 10. If you'd like to read through the Bible with me, you can do so by clicking the link in the description below or by joining the Facebook group Through the Bible, where we are reading the text of Scripture together.